Ma, I like English, but no, speak Arabic. Mohammed Alasaf and his wife Garoup bicker lightly over what to watch on television. He prefers comedies in Arabic. She wants him to practice English. The Syrian refugees arrived in Canada just over a year ago. Today, they still barely speak English. They rely on a translator, Fada Saeed, from the Regina Open Door Society. They need assist with everything, basically, if they don't have any English. The Arab community in Regina is small. Mohammed, a 38-year-old mechanic, can't find work until he improves his English. He had to wait seven months to start language classes. On this day, a field trip. And get the whole mouth. Mohammed's English class is visiting a student-run dental clinic at the Saskatchewan Polytechnic. And then what is, do you remember what this is called? Floods. 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 Yeah. There are another 100 people on the waiting list for English classes, and the Regina Open Door Society is expecting nearly 800 Syrian refugees in the weeks ahead. Toothpaste, toothbrush. It says it needs more funding and more staff, including English instructors, to handle the influx. It is one of the most important things you can have. To access services. To access services, to protect yourself to have a, a future, to have a better life. You need language. <laughs> As for Garoup, her English classes were interrupted when she gave birth to their third child. So she's right. waiting for, uh, to get a spot for his daycare in the open door and to get back to her uh, English classes. I like to speak English. A year in, the couple's financial assistance from the federal government has run out. Now they're living on social assistance from the province until Mohammed improves his English and finds work. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.